I can't stop thinking about him. I can't let this go. I spent way too long building this model for us to only use him for a single line. Guys, we need to talk about this build. Okay, Liz, talk about it. This is Manazoid. He's featured on the back of the box of the LEGO Mindstorms Extreme Creatures Robotics Invention System expansion set. It's intended as an expansion of set number 9732, the original LEGO Mindstorms Robotics Invention System, released in 1998. He's featured along with an explanation of the fiber optic cable housing and three other potential builds, Bomberfly, Scorpion, and communicate with other creatures. But here's the thing. Manazoid is otherwise undocumented. Googling Manazoid returns nothing relevant. Same with other major search engines. There's no instructions for Manazoid inside the box, and there's no other photos of him. It seems like he's never been discussed before today. At least, not anywhere that's been indexed by search engines. He's also not featured as one of the builds on the CD-ROM that comes with the expansion set. Manazoid was featured in a few LEGO Shop at Home catalogs in 1999. There's one catalog entry that looks like it has a second image from a different angle, but nope, it's just a mirrored version of the same image from the back of the box. Look closely, you can see the backwards letters and numbers on the RCX brick. This same catalog has the correctly oriented version of it again two pages later. Oh, and here his name is spelled Manazoid? Huh. Lego was doing some weird stuff in 1998, but Manazoid is something else. This fella is our most decent attempt to get the vibes and general look of Manazoid right, because it's tough to build a figure 100% accurately from a single three and a half inch tall image. The way we chose to interpret the build does allow for pretty easy access to the RCX brick, but maybe it's too easy since he's pretty fragile in this state. The Extreme Creatures box is labeled Build Creatures That Act on Instinct. Manazoid has flashing lights in his head, and we think he's supposed to walk. Sure, Manazoid may not do much, but why must one's self-worth be defined purely by the output of their labor? Okay, but he also isn't even good at just standing there. Most good builds focus on things like playability and stability. Manazoid is not constrained by such concept. These two sticks supporting each leg are barely sturdy enough to hold the rest of the body when you don't have any batteries in the RCX brick. It requires six double A's to function. That's a lot of added weight we aren't comfortable placing on these connections. And you can barely look at the thing without these small gears popping off, sending his legs akimbo. Well, if the legs won't hold him up like that, the box does say you can create exotic beasts that stand tall or walk on all fours. So yeah, Manazoid was probably slapped together, photographed a single time, and used as a promo image in a few ads. But look at him, he's just a little guy. Honestly, I think this is the single highest joy per dollar that I've ever gotten out of a Lego set. So this one's for you, Manazoid. Our contribution to preserving your legacy at least for as long as YouTube exists. Manazoid is one very, very small part of LEGO history. A part that may be lost to time if he isn't archived. But one day, we too will be lost to the sands of time. For now, join us next time on Battle Peak. <laughs>